four foot two at Club Tentacle. Dang, it says tentacles only. from this place? Some try once in a while, but I always fetch them back. That's my primary duty here, and I take it very seriously. I always get my man, no matter how long it takes. Why, I once trailed a renegade human for six days. He led me clear through the hills and up to the top of those mountains to the west. You couldn't possibly imagine the horrible things I had to eat to survive. Pieces of your own body? Good heavens! You're quite a tracker, aren't you? Rather. I always get my man, no matter how long it takes. Nice clock. Yes, it's a valuable antique. I'd like to show it to you, but I'm presently charged with the task of guarding it. No one will get near it while I'm here. Couldn't I please touch the clock? Sorry, no. No one touches the clock while I'm on duty. Aren't you curious about what's inside the clock? Not really. Guarding it is more or less the same no matter what's inside. Hi, I'm Laverne. Laverne, eh? Curious name for a tentacle, I must say. Are you here for the show? Yes, that's right. Well, good luck to you then. There are some jolly good prizes to be won. Why, the grand prize is a dinner for two at Club Tentacle. Well, be seeing you. Yes, perhaps I can regale you with further tales of my tracking expertise. No, this has to be special. Whoa! Dinner for two at Club Tentacle? I can't wait to tell my wife. You're free! Free to do what? Free to... to run wild through the woods like humans should. Big deal. I said you're free, now get off your fat lazy butts and start enjoying it. Enjoy being hunted for the rest of our lives by that mustached old tentacle with a big net? If we ran off, he'd be right on our trail. If we stay here, we know we'll be warm and comfortable. Outside, we'd be eating bugs and moss. You'll be eating my fist in a second. The woods are filled with wild animals. Lions, tigers, and skunks. Man, I hate skunks. Hey, look! A skunk! Come back here, you mangy humans! You can't do this! This is an escape-proof facility! Who says you can't learn anything from cartoons, eh, kitty? won't run, he just shivers. 
I don't think so. There's something in the chronogen. That's a stupid thing to do with a perfectly good set of chattering teeth. That's how you empty the vacuum cleaner, I guess. I can't. It's big. It has a door on the side. It has a door on the side. Looks abandoned. Hello, mice. I think not. It's beyond repair. Good riddance. It's open. It's beyond repair. I'm not interested in tentacle. Probably just the tentacle. I'm not interested in tentacle junk. Party of the first part shall hereby be known as a crazed maniacal genius. I'll use the chronogen. It's some kind of legal mumbo jumbo. I don't wanna. Nobody I know. That'll be one cool flag. The guys downstairs say they want a big family crest, and in the four corners they want a keg, some babes, a guitar, and some drumsticks. And underneath it all put, America rocks. Just put the plans on the table and I'll get to it. Hi. Sorry, can't talk. Busy making history. I don't wanna. Hey, it's not a toy. You wanna borrow this great book? Is it lightweight and waterproof? Uh, no. Then I have no use for it. Hey, what's that on the plant? It looks like a secret backwards message. Oh, it's just a coffee stain. I got something good for you, mister. Uh, mister. Mr. Brainstorm? Yes, hand it over. Hmm, doesn't this belong to somebody? Yeah, Red Edison. Ah. 
I'm sorry, but the man has no vision. A lightweight, durable fabric like this going to waste down in his basement. When I'm done with it, it will fly. Hmm. Eureka! The all-season Francocopter, ready to make history. No, there's no fuse. So, what do I light? For the last time, you're not going to light anything. You just push it. The whole time? How am I going to get up that high? Listen, just wait for me to say the word now. Then push the kite into the air, all right? I'm on you, lasagna. Let's hope so. Now! Oops. What part of the word now didn't you understand? Err. Uh. Look, it's very simple. I say now and you push the kite. Comprenez-vous? Actually, I'd like to go think about it for a while. I'll be here when you figure it out. What a grouch. Ready for another brush with destiny? Sure, why not? Splendid! Oops. Look, it's very simple. I say now and you push the kite. Comprenez-vous? Got it. Marvelous! Now! We Look at her go! Now all we need is a little... Ay! So what happened after I fainted? Well, after the lightning hit the kite, it came crashing down on your head. The lightning? No, the kite. Drat! What do you think we should do? I'd like to go back to my lab and consider the situation. Sounds like something I would say. Ooh. Ooh. I don't think so. I don't think I don't think so. Ah, <clears throat> uh, Lieutenant, I'm glad you're here. What kept you? Uh, well, I hate to say it, sir, but uh, there was some trouble with one of the humans. Trouble? What sort of trouble? Nothing I couldn't handle, but I've noticed something about the humans that may pose a problem. Do continue. Well, sir, in general, they seem to be a bit larger than us tentacles. You know, taller, heftier, more massive. And I get the picture, son. I don't mean to carry on, sir. It's just that it makes me feel inadequate, small, inferior. Out Before you go off the deep end, let me tell you why I called you here. You see, I've invented something which will end our troubles with those glandular leg walkers for good. I've invented the Diminuator. The what? It's a shrinking ray, Dolt. Oh, I get it. Now I need you to get me a few parts so I can finish the thing. Come over here. <laughs> if I ice the old guy, they just throw me back in the slammer.
chuckle chuckle. I don't want to disturb anything. Dr. Fred's old lab, and his generator is still there. Gee, I could really use that power, but I'll never get through this window. It's bad enough to carry the weight of his death on my conscience. That's a stupid thing to do with a perfectly good set of chattering teeth. Pretty small. I don't need to take over the world. Uh oh. This looks like it might work. Is that a W390B frivolous spending report? What is it? Um, never mind. Say, what's the filing date for a PFD 206ZZ insufficient credit applications form? You have until midnight on the 12th working day past the first full moon after the end of your fiscal year. However, you can extend the day by filing an RPM 78 waning interest extension any time before the close of business on the second Tuesday after the first Friday of March. And of course, if you're married, you'd also have to file the K7209 Statement of Joint Intentions and declare any mutual gift expenditures. Oh yeah, that's right. I can't believe what a mess these records are. That's a stupid thing to do with a perfectly good set of chattering teeth. That's a stupid thing to do with a perfectly good set of chattering teeth.
My grandma gave me one like, ew, it's soaking wet. This ought to warm him up. That sucker go! He just keeps running and running and running. I'd rather not. It's not a toy. I don't want to. Hey, keep your hands off that. When induction elements have NP completeness, the crunchy factor can be ignored. Please stop, you're making me quite drowsy. Excuse me, yes? Thermodynamic flux induction circuit design is perhaps the most fascinating branch of practical electrical theory. Stop reading that horrible book. It's hard enough to stay awake through this blasted meeting as it is. The LALR compiler is constructed by the following method. First, develop a rigorous elective grammar. Stop that! 
It's so cold in here that I'm afraid if I fall asleep, I'll wake up as an ice cube in somebody's drink. It's already open. It's blocked up. It's blocked up with somebody's bed. Yipe. I don't wanna. Brody, man, I don't go through people's underwear. I don't want it. You're all so hard to please. Someday I'll let the bird have it. I like it the way it is.
I don't think I can do that. Hi there. What can I do for you, kid? Nice cigars. Nice? These babies are practically exploding with tobacco goodness. So, want another cigar? Okay, but only if you promise not to light it this time. Would I do a thing like that? I don't get it. Get lost, kid. I want to save it for maximum comedy potential. I already have some false teeth. Excuse me. Yes? Mr. President, may I offer you an excellent smoke? Can you also provide me with a light? Sure. Well, in that case... <laughs> Blast, I hate it when that happens. See if you can't find those for me, will you? There's a good lad. Could you use these? Why, thank you, young man. Strange, I wonder if I should cut down on the coffee. Hey, Tom, look! The father of our nation is cold. Better build a fire. You're right. Huh? I guess you can have my log. Me? Why should I build the fire? You build the fire. I'm bothered by the smoke. You build the fire. I'm bothered by your attitude. You build the fire. No, you build the fire, Mr. Penmanship. No, you build the fire, log lover. No, you build the fire. No, you build the fire. You big baby. Navajo, I think. Hi there. Hello. Feeling better now that there's a fire? Much better, thank you. My teeth were grinding into a fine powder, and that blanket was really making me itch. Nice painting of a turkey, dude. I'm glad you think so. The choosing of the national bird is on our agenda for the convention. Well, I thought the national bird was the eagle or something. It may well turn out to be just that. 
You see, there are two schools of thought on the matter. Ben Franklin and I are in favor of the turkey, whereas Jefferson and Washington, for some reason, want the eagle. But Franklin's always outside playing with his ridiculous toys instead of here where he belongs, so it becomes two against one. What's so great about the turkey? They've helped us to survive since we set foot on this continent. They're symbolic of prosperity and the thanks we give for our lives here. Besides, they're kind of cute. What's wrong with the eagle? Well, it's a bird of prey for one thing. I don't think that's an appropriate symbol for our country. Don't you guys have anything better to do? Such as what? Establish domestic freedoms? Come on, this is important stuff. I see. Good. What's with the canary over the fireplace? Oh, that's an early warning system. It's quite ingenious. The canary is trained to ring the bell madly the minute it smells smoke. Then we know the building's on fire and we run like crazy. Who feeds the canary? Actually, no one does. It's a self-feeding canary. It's specially bred with some kind of nutrient-producing bacteria in its gizzard. It's quite a time saver. I expect everyone will have them in the future. Who thought of it? It was invented by Red Edison, the owner of the inn. Well, why doesn't the fire in the fireplace set it off? I assume it's because all the smoke goes up and out the chimney. I see. Amazing, isn't it? Well, gotta go. Goodbye. Are you sure we don't need to add anything about hideous, slimy, super-intelligent tentacles? Don't be absurd. Okay, who was the idiot who started the fire? No way, it could be on fire by now. It looks pretty clear in here now. Say, did you get the pen on our way out? No, I... I found a blanket blocking the chimney. Son, do you know anything about a blanket? Uh, didn't the dude next to you have one earlier? Uh... Uh, hey, catch you later. Final element for my ingenious battery. Stand back, boy. Give me room to work.
A miracle of modern science. It will look lovely here on the shelf until I take it with me to Baltimore. Don't look now, but the British are coming, dude. Eh? Where? Is that supposed to be funny? I'm very busy. Ready for another brush with destiny? Sure, why not? Splendid! Now! She's handling kind of funny. You got it, just hang on there. She's too heavy! I can't control her! Hang on, Ben! Hang on! She's breaking up! She's breaking up! Run for your life! Now that was interesting! Yeah. Say, can I see that kite for a second? No, I'm taking it back to my lab in Philly right now so I can study the results! Wish me luck! I never got your name. It's Hoagie, sir. Nice working with you, Hoagie. I promise to name an invention after you someday. Gosh, thanks. I don't think I can put that in the chronogen. I got the contract for you to sign, Doctor. Sorry, I don't like to sign things that I haven't read. Okay, so read it first. I'm busy trying to think of a way to save humanity. I don't have time to read. Now leave me alone. Will you please sign this contract? I don't sign things I haven't read. Sign it, or I'll get real mad. And do what? Not be my friend anymore? Ha ha ha. Not funny enough. Will you please sign this contract? I don't sign things I haven't read. But the whole human race is at risk. Of course! That's why I'm busy trying to think of a way to save it! I don't have time to read. Now leave me alone. Will you please sign this contract? I don't sign things I haven't read. Oh, forget it. I'll get rid of Purple Tentacle myself. Oh, yeah? How? I guess I can't. Hey, did you join a record club lately? Good God, no! Those things are horrible money-leeching death traps! 
Well, there's a delivery man upstairs with a carton of easy listening eight tracks for you. He says you have to pay for them. Ah, not again! Unless you sign this refusal form immediately. <laughs> Thanks. That was a close one. Well, good luck. The party of the first part shall hereby be known as a crazed maniacal genius. Yes, what do you want? Hi there, is this Dr. Fred Edison? Who did you think you called? Dr. Spock? Look, I don't have all day. This is Farley Crock at LucasArts Games. I just discovered your contract among some very old files, and, well, our lawyers say that we uh, have to pay you $2 million in back royalties. Uh, for the use of your family in the Maniac Mansion video game. What? This is Farley Crock. No, I heard that, you moron. When do I get my money? Oh, right now. It's been credited to your Swiss bank account. Operator, get me a travel agent. This is an emergency. Fatty's in the way now. I'd better find a different one. Couch Potato Shopping Channel, Wanda speaking. Um, uh, I want to buy a diamond. That will be two million dollars. Do you have a major credit card? Um, I have a numbered Swiss bank account. What's the number, sir? Um, it's 846-427-35327. Very good, sir. We'll send the diamond by Pronto Post Lightspeed Delivery immediately. Thank you for calling. Now that's service. I better get this to Dr. Fred right away. That should do it. Where did you get this diamond anyway? Uh, it was donated by a group of Girl Scouts who were in the neighborhood. How heartwarming. According to my instruments, everything is in readiness. Your friends have activated their units, so it's time to throw the switch. Great. Hoagie! I'm so happy to... Hi! Laverne! Wow! I'm so glad you two made it back okay! I hate to interrupt, but there's no time to lose! Now that you're back, we've got to proceed with the original plan and send you back to yesterday to turn off the sledge matic Huh? Say what? Now hold on a minute, Dr. Fred. They just barely made it back to our time alive, and I think... <laughs> you can't turn off the machine if I get there first. Uh-oh. Don't worry, guys. This time I know I can stop him. Uh-oh. I guess we better do something. Let's go. No, wait! You can't all go in the same store! Didn't you see the 
the fly! Some kind of monster, dudes. Great. Stuck here the rest of my life listening to Bernard talking and watching Hoagie eat. Mom warned me there'd be days like this. Now wait just a minute. It's Green Tentacle. It's Green Tentacle. What was that green? Green Tentacle behind you. What? I believe he's trying to warn you about me. Oh. We're going to turn off the sludge matic and defeat your evil plan, overgrown worm. You sorry lot are no match for me. But there's three of us. Well, sort of. Nevertheless, I mean to crush you. Yeah? You and what army? Why, this army, of course. Yikes. You see, I've been busy. These are all versions of myself from the future. I've been bringing them back here using the Chronojar. Together, we will conquer the world. You ten there. Go to the basement and guard the sludge o to touch the sludge matic Now, creature, I must decide what excruciating tortures to... Leave them to me. I've been itching for a chance to test out my newly completed diminuator. Uh-oh. Excuse me. Um, us. <laughs> All right, the rest of you come with me. Next stop, the world. What do we do now? Whoa. It wears off. Aha. Run for it. Damn. The battery must not have had time to recharge, but it will. Shh! Maybe he won't find us. You who? Where are you, human? Uh-oh. Take that. And this. Drat. Perhaps if I readjust the static phrase dynamo again. Aha. Uh-oh. Take that. Drat. We're too, we're too small to use the stairs. No time for that now. No time for that now. Hmm, this door appears to be locked.
excuse us. What is it? Which one of you is the real purple tentacle? We all are, Dopey. Weren't you paying attention earlier? Now, buzz off. Excuse us. What is it? Would you mind hopping out to get us some Chinese food? Nice try, but we're not budging. Now, buzz off. Dr. Fred, are you all right? Get me out of here! I feel like I'm pupating! Excuse us. What is it? Could you let us pull that lever over there? No chance. Now, buzz off. Excuse us. What is it? Look behind you. A three-headed monkey. The only three-headed monkey here is in front of us. Now, buzz off. Green, are you okay? Take my cake off! Huh? I think he'll be okay here for now. We better not move him. We better not move him. We better not move him. Green, are you okay? Take my cake off! Huh? I think he'll be okay here for now. I think it's locked. It's not my car. Someone wrote, wash me in the dust. Some people think that washing one's vehicle will make it rain. out as I'm about to finish them off. Uh-oh, this looks like it might work. No time for that now. I don't need to take over the world. Hey! Where'd he go? Hmm, this door... can turn off the machine and prevent all this tentacle mayhem from ever happening. Well, I'm certainly glad that's over with. Yeah, let's get out of here. Leaving so soon, we haven't had the chance to get to know one another. 
you humans amount to very little. <laughs> Eek! Run all you like, you insignificant insect. The human race is doomed. Dr. Fred, are you all right? Get me out of here! I feel like I'm pupating! I've already won. Your efforts are so tiny. <laughs> Eek! Run all you like, you insignificant insect. The human race is doomed. I think it's designed to run with something, more like a small rodent. We better deal with purple tentacle first. We better deal with purple tentacle first. I've already won. Are you really a future version of purple tentacle? Who else would be brilliant enough to invent the diminuator? Are you more or less intelligent than the purple tentacle from our time? The same, but I've had 200 years to think things over. <laughs> Pretty handy with that ray gun. Center of the forehead every time. Would you like a demonstration? I bet you couldn't hit your own forehead. Nice try. Just what is it you have against humans anyway? Humans are our oppressors. They made us live in this horrible motel. They created us in ungainly forms, so we could not rise against them. Try walking around with your legs tied together and glue on your shoes. You'll see what I mean. Sounds like that's all Dr. Fred's fault, really. Hmm, I suppose you're right about that. I didn't start out hating all humans, just Dr. Fred. Why don't you zap Fred with the ray gun for a change? Hmm, perhaps that would be entertaining. Oh, drat. Ah, surely we can talk this out. Hmm. Talk? Surely. Wait! You haven't heard the last of me. I'll be back, and the next time, the world and all its pippling inhabitants shall be mine. All mine. <laughs> all mine. Okay, little fella. Mail this to Siberia. Our work here is done. Now we can go home. Well, kiddies, it's been more fun than a jumpsuit full of weasels. Now kindly get your freakish hide out of my home. Please, Dr. Fred, you've got to get us out of this mess. We look terrible, and we can't buy clothes off the rack. I'm getting sort of used to it. Maybe we could go on the talk show circuit. Help us, Dr. Edison. You're our only hope. Oh, all right. Hmm. Sideshow attraction you imagined. You're just three complete goofballs stuck in one suit of clothes.
Well, I'm glad that's taken care of. Looks like everything's back to normal. <laughs>